Oh my. Dun dun dun! I'm gonna music. Dang cat. Ooh. It reminds me of something, but I just can't put my finger on it. I feel an uncontrollable urge to raise my hands, though. Hmm. The shadow's being cast by those garbage bags. Hey. Hey. Kind of looks like somebody with a gun. Hmm. That's interesting. There's a trash can here. It's a closed garbage bin. Well, open it. Now it's inside. It's filled with a bunch of dry rags, newspapers, and a half-empty oil can. Huh. Can anybody say extreme fire hazard? I can. It's a fire alarm and a smoke detector. Hmm. And we got the basic garbage rags When's the here. the last time somebody picked up the garbage? <laughs> Smells like moldy caramel popcorn and bingo cherry cola. Disgusting. Yeah. Well, can it's we... It's the theater's fire exit. Probably can't get into their fire exits are usually one way only. There's no doorknob. It's impossible yep. to open it from this side. Well... Hmm. We could. Let's try this. Let's get his attention. Boom! Fire! Uh oh. All right, somebody's coming. Hide quickly! What? Hey, old blazes! We got us a fire. Wow, that was snuffed out quick. Well, so we so we know he'll come out for the fire alarm. That's good. He's not gonna stay out. However, hmm, I think I have an idea. Back to the streets. No, keep running, April. There we go. Oh look! It's that the detective hat. guy's hat. He must have lost it running away from Freddie Mellon. Aww. <laughs> what? My idea will definitely require his hat. You'll see why in a minute. And in we go. So. We've got this garbage heap here. It's a mountain of garbage. What happens if we... Hey! That's pretty convincing shadow. Pretty convincing, if I have to say so myself. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can't get the guy to come out again. This time to stay out, maybe. Let's see. All right, somebody's coming. Hey, old blazes, we got us a far. Bam. Nope. Well, so what do we need? We need something to distract him. Something. I don't know, some kind of noise, maybe? Loud? Obnoxious? The monkey! Makes sense. Uh, hold on one second. Hello, everybody. Sorry about that. I had... To, my dad came home for lunch. Uh, and I kind of like to do this when no word is round, so I don't get to have distractions. Anyways! The monkey! We can use it. Because if you remember, he has a very unique song. Let's turn him on. You, you, hands up, spread your legs, and do the monkey. Sorry, <laughs> it's 
Thank you, I love the song. So, let's see if this will work. Here we go. All right, somebody's coming. Hey, old blazes, we got us a fire. Now, where's that voice coming from? Show yourself! All right there, mister. Just, just don't, <laughs> don't you fire that gun now, you hear? I, I'm, I'm sorry I chased you earlier. Freddy, you'll do the monkey for you right now, if, if that's what you want, uh-huh. <laughs> He'll do the monkey until you ask him to stop, I reckon. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> well, I feel a little bad scaring the poor guy, but, uh... I wound the monkey up real good, so he'll be dancing for a while. <laughs> well, let's get inside, finally. And there's Cortez. You know how much shit I had to go through to get in here? Jesus! You have no idea what I went through to find you. First... Do you like movies? Sure. Who doesn't? Wait a second. <laughs> I was don't trying get to tell you that... I don't much like modern movies myself. They are either too loud and expensive or too obscure and self-indulgent. But old Two. movies, really old movies, have a charm and a simplicity that appeals to me. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Listen. Please, don't interrupt me again. It's starting to piss me off. But I have never interrupted you. <laughs> you did? I've had something important to say, of course. But go ahead. What is it you wanted to talk about? Why did you make me search all over the city for you? Search for me? I've been here for hours, senorita. I haven't moved. The question ought to be... I hate you. What made you go out of your way to find me? Well, we did a video. We agreed to meet this morning, remember? As I remember it, there was no agreement. I said tomorrow, but you refused. So. I assumed you weren't interested. I apologize for making myself unavailable, however. Don't give me that. You wanted me to come looking for you again. Actually, no. I, I had to lay low for a few hours. Does it have uh... anything to do with the cop that was staking this place out? Yeah. So it was a good thing I didn't stick my head out the door to look for you then, no? He's gone now. Are you in some kind of trouble with the police? Wait, don't tell me. Immigration. No, senorita. Not the police. There are bigger players than the police. I don't <laughs> oh, want to know. I'm not getting mixed up with the mob or gangs or anything like that. There's not much you want to be mixed up in at all, is there? Not really. My life's complicated enough as it is, Mr. Cortez. I don't even know what I'm doing here. <laughs> answers. You want, you need answers. You keep telling me that, but you never give me any answers. Just more questions. Like, who's out to get you? What's going on with me? How come you know so much about me? I plan to answer better. all your questions today, Is the cryptic one? By the time you go to sleep tonight, your world will have changed, and nothing will ever be the same. You're okay. just being cryptic again. Now he's catching on! Sex, lots of boring dialogue, and when they finally <laughs> go to bed, everything's dark and covered by blankets. You want the full Monty, then? Yeah, I guess. Come with me. Come outside. No more talk. I will show you the truth. Okay. This is probably as good a place as any. At least there's no one around to see, except rats. To see what? Rats. Talking rats. Stand back, senorita. What for? What are you doing? Why, Alice? I'm sending you through the looking glass. Ah, great. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's more cryptic stuff. I bet audio public is getting my- What the? What? 
What is that? Please tell me it's a hologram. It's a mirror to reflect your dreams. Okay. I don't see anything, just light. Oh, you have to step through. Oh. Step through that? Oh no, I There's don't the think so. There's the looking glass, Alice. We gotta go through. This is a moment of decision, April. All time, past and present, revolves around this moment. The destiny of worlds is in your hands. But you must make the choice on your own. La vida es corta. You must decide how to live it best. Well... Well... We don't have much of a choice, do All we? Alright. I'll do it. Vamos. Enter the light. Don't say that. It sounds too ominous. <laughs> Just... Tell me what's gonna happen. You're about to take the first step on the longest journey of your life. But don't worry. I'll be waiting right here. Well, I must comfort, be I insane to do this. A little bit, yeah. Yes, Go into some... it's pretty much a given. <laughs> Thank you for giving me some kind of comfort. Or giving her some kind of comfort. Well, nothing else to do. Oh, I almost forgot. Meh? When you're ready to come back, Pay a visit to a friend of mine called Westhouse, Brian Westhouse. Okay. Uh, interesting. The blue tunnel of light. Oh. We get close up a caught in his face. Huh? No going back. Only way to go is forward. Attention! Stupid phone! I have a bad feeling about this. Wait. What was the name Cortez told me to remember? <sighs> Westhouse? Ryan Westhouse? I think that was it. Cortez said to look him up when I wanted to go home. Well, I want to go home now. Yeah. No idea. Got some mules. Wow, very elaborate mules. I wanna know if I'm finished. What? Well, well, got this dude here we can talk to. But I'm gonna leave you in suspense and end it here. So, thank you all for watching. Uh next time we'll figure out where the hell we are. Why is Lent and they swinging? Go the general decor of the place. Where the hell are we? What the hell is that dude? What's going on? Next time. Bye for now.